Hey, Famila. Hey, Famila. I'm a ding dong. Hey, meanies. Uh, John's Famila. You guys are meanies. He's Famila Anderson, and you guys are just meanies. <laughs> so. And you guys are. Wait, what was her ex husband's name? What? Who? Uh, Tommy oh, Lee. oh, you guys are Tommy. You guys are Tommy. Uh... Leave me alone. You guys are yeah. Tommy. Leave me alone. Um, uh, so, Famila Anderson and Tommy leave uh, my house now. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're exactly. just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep going. Um, welcome to the show. Mean girls well, interrupted. The movie review and recap podcast. And my yeah. name is Travis. And I'm John. And John. you're John. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. I was gonna say uh John along along a ding dong. John along yeah, a ding dong. Honestly, that uh, fine, it works. I'm stuck. Okay, cool, for cool, it. cool. Awesome. I loved it. Thanks. Well, we're a, um, a, a movie recap and review podcast, I'd say. Yeah, we fight for words constantly because we yeah. don't know how to talk. We don't we don't know how to talk. And, and also, also, it's been a long day. It's for both. It's, yeah. Yeah. It started real early and it's ending real late. Yeah, it is. But I wouldn't want to be anywhere else than here with you, Travis. Me either. I'm not going to lie. What, my bed? Burn it. I don't need yeah. it. <laughs> what is that? Mattress? Set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying our Halloween double feature because we have been doing yes. two horrors a week. And guess what? Is this what? our last one? No, because guess what? Our next episode is drops on halloween yeah it drops on halloween but i have to say this and this is kind of like uh pulling the curtains back (laughs) so i have to take my redacted for a surgery Mm. on monday on monday is he okay oh yeah he's fine he's just having like a repair on something yeah so it's just a repair he's on sunday yeah so uh, for all of you out there who don't know i am currently um married to a roomba so he's having a repair and uh (laughs) we're taking him into the shop yep taking him to the shop so i'm just letting you know our next episode our final horror double feature is going to drop on Halloween for all of you out there who are yeah. ready, who love this holiday so much, just like yeah. us. It is an American staple. And I know it's becoming more popular worldwide, but you whores will never compete. Okay. And I'm sorry. Maybe that's it, a flex. But I is, love it. Look, if there's one thing that's fully American to be proud of, it's Halloween. Have fun with it. And for all of you out there, I love that you're embracing it. Go all out. Be a yeah. spooky queen. Be anything you can be. And I want you to compete with America. I, it is a competition. It it's is a competition. a competition. Halloween is a competition. John, my neighbors have the craziest <laughs> Halloween set. I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to take a picture. Have you guys done anything? No, because John, oh. I just can't imagine spending the amount of money yeah. that people spend on yeah. these. Halloween decorations are more expensive than Christmas. And that is something to be said because That's Christmas crazy. is hella expensive. You know what's happening over here? And there's a new trend around our neighborhood in, in Los Angeles. Um, an awful lot of yards are putting up these giant skeletons. Yeah. They are They're 12 sold, foot. Yeah. They are sold at the Home Depot. So I think everybody's getting them at the Home Depot. They're 12 foot skeletons. They are 12. No, they are. They're more than 12 feet tall. They're ginormous. They're huge. These are ginormous. These are like 22 feet tall skeletons in a lot of different yards. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? How are you going to store that for next year? Honestly, Listen, I I know there's people out there who could shove it right up. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're like, oh, I'll just put it into my butt. Yeah, that's where it's... Oh, that's exactly where it's going to go. I mean, Um, if you have a cavernous hole... Yeah. Make it... Put it to good use. I can't believe I just said that. Oh, why wouldn't... (laughs) I mean, why not? I don't know. It's really... It's really dirty. It's not really. I mean, what holes are we talking about? (laughs) Um, A mouth. Yeah, right just shove it right down your throat your your pie hole yeah 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 um 
So I'm trying to think like, what is, so what's the European conversion of a foot? Did, what do they use? Centimeters? Meters? Is it just meters? I'm sorry, you guys. We sound so ignorant. And we I got, know what we it got, is. we got millimeters. Um, we got foot centimeters. To, foot to cm. We're gonna do because I think it's I think it's centimeters that they use. So for you out there who want to know what a twelve foot skeleton is, it is three hundred and sixty five centimeters tall, and these things wow. go past that. Wow. Cause I know they don't use inches, so I'm not going to be like, this is this many. Yeah. So yeah. there you are. It's like a couple meters tall. It's very, Oh, for sure. Meter. Oh, I mean, it would be, so a meter is three feet. That's four meters at the very least. Yeah. So what I like about this podcast is that sometimes we go into converting inches into what do they call it? Uh, the the like the uh, American standard. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what do we call it. What I don't even know yeah. what it's called. We just like to convert things sometimes. We and do. I feel like we know our listeners. It's very entertaining. But also, our listeners are international, so I think it's only they fair. are nas- international whores. Yes, they're international whores, and whores get paid. Girl, get your monies. Get it. We're here for you. We if you're love an, you. If you're an international whore, you're a meanie to me. Listen, mean. Don't do okay. for free what you can be paid for, and yeah, if that unless includes, it's duty, then duty. Then it, is it duty free? It's not duty free, girl. Mm-hmm. Not if it's international. You're paying the duties stuff. and taxes, bitch. Mm-hmm. I ain't. Do you know how expensive customs is? Expensive. I'm not paying for your customs. You guys want me to ship you my middle finger? You're paying for the customs. Yeah, you are. You are totally paying for the customs. You're paying for the middle finger, and you're paying for the nail polish that painted that nail on that middle finger before it goes through customs. It's going to be an acrylic, and it will have been done by a professional. And let me tell you, you're going to love that middle finger. You're going to bronze it. You're going to wear it around your neck. You're probably going to pick your nose with it. And you're going to pay for that, too. And you're going to pay for all of that. Yeah. So have fun. Anyway, back to our regular programming. So, yeah, this episode. Mm-hmm. We are this doing episode. a this horror episode. movie, which we just said you can find on Shudder. It's called She Will. Yeah. And guess what? She it's does. A, she does. Mm-hmm. And it's allegedly a horror movie. It is. It is alleged. It's to be alleged. a horror, horror movie. Yeah. And that is why it's on the, uh, the exclusive horror uh, platform Shudder. And Better. this is the, the good people at Shudder had decide had hath decided that to make this an original a shudder it's not even an original I shudder to think it's an original I, and you would shudder and you would be right in doing so because uh-huh. technically it's not even an original it's an exclusive which means Ooh, bought it they up. picked they bought it up because it was made it is an ifc program which i like an independent mm. film i used to love watching ifc growing up yes independent film channel release i remember growing up ifc was just a channel Ch- and their original programming was uh, dinner for five John, can you do you want to know that IFC introduced me to Barton Fink and I was never the same mm. after that movie? I yes, IFC in home while in high school was a revelation to me. I was obsessed. We did not we did not had we did not done had <laughs> um like niche independent um movie rental places. We had a blockbuster. Nope. Yep, that is absolutely correct. So, and JC Flicks. And JC Flicks. But so, we were going for movies, not family oriented movies at JC Flicks. No, 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 no. And at we Clean went, Flicks? Uh, adult skewing. A clean Flicks can kiss my wet, smelly tits. Taint. <laughs> tits. <laughs> it, can, it can call me up at work and ask me how big my nipples are. Horrible horrible concept like I talk know. about censorship in a country yeah in, a, you, in an american free country in a country just in a country in a country, <laughs> in a country that is free 
What's um, wild to me is like the people in that town too. If you, oh my God, we're not even getting into it. We're watching context, She Will on IFC. Netflix was owned by a religious uh, family organization. Organization, and they were a movie rental place that, quote unquote, uh, cleaned up blockbuster movies and rented them out, and then they got shut down by Hollywood. They got sued to the ground <laughs> because that's called piracy travis and also it's <laughs> pure infringement like and also you're not licensing it and you're profiting off of it yeah it's it's that's a crime and i'm pretty sure jesus wouldn't like the crime element no jesus hates crime it's actually known that jesus hates crime Jesus H crime. <laughs> so bye bye, Clean Flicks, for any of yeah. you out there. I think it started in Utah too. Of Ugh, course, it started in Utah. Psychopaths. Dude, you want to know it's so crazy? What? It's like they're all addicted to barbiturates over there and they're so obsessed with everybody else doing other things. I know. I'm just like, because just because a doctor prescribes something to you, a legal heroin, like you don't have to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Like let me crawl out from underneath my hangover, Barbara. Fuck you with your opiate. Yeah. I don't need your pills. <laughs> so goodbye. Uh, <laughs> so today we're talking about the um, the Shutter exclusive. <laughs> she will. Sorry, I just got really triggered thinking <laughs> about. I did too. I'm still. I'm triggered with you. And okay, because we do. because we both had to experience it, and it was <laughs> rotten. Uh, yikes! Absolutely rotten. Throw me into a bog full of bodies, dude. Burn yeah. me alive and turn me into ashes that live in the forest. Because this I is... will. <laughs> because you asked me to, and because you want it, I will do it for you. I won't that's like what, it. That's what friends do. Yeah, which. <laughs> So she will is a movie on Shudder. <laughs> and before we get into it, before want... we get into it, we're going to finish it because <laughs> I don't think we can actually talk about this movie. I feel like we can this, talk about this. <laughs> this movie is, is going to be a difficult one. I feel like no. out of 80 something episodes. It's not going to be difficult and I won't talk through it. I promise. This is my last interruption. No, I this feel is why like, we're called Mean Girls Interrupted. I feel like I need, I feel like I need you to, to continue to talk to me. Wait. Otherwise I'm just going to. John, will you let me do this one? Can yes, I do this one? Please. For the okay. love of God, please do it. I can't remember any of the characters names. So everyone follow along because we're going to do this super quick. Yeah. And if, it, if you have watched She Will and you're chiming in to see what two other people think about it. <laughs> but um, the only other two people who have watched this movie think yeah. about it. <laughs> so just a, a refresher, a little crash course on who's to blame. It's a director, Charlotte Colbert. Didn't she also write it? She did write it alongside Kitty Percy. Kitty Percy. But I mean, um, if you say it in if you say, if you it, say it in a different accent. way, I was going to say that sounds a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm. I mean, just imagine it, it coming out of J Dame Judy Dench's mouth. Yes. Kitty Percy. Yeah. <laughs> Does this have a budget? Um, well, I mean, it's it went to a streaming service, so they never post the oh, budget. Right, yeah. because they don't want people to know that um, people weren't par yeah, uh, which paid, is, paid. Yeah, which fairly. is crazy. Yeah. Okay, so this went to a streaming service. It was an IFC film. It's now a Shutter exclusive bought up by them. They probably paid like, I don't know, three bounce checks. So, um, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the budget was high, but all them checks bounced. <laughs> I will say the budget was probably high. There were some scenes in this that I really did enjoy, but yeah. there were some. We'll get into it, but mm. John, some of this music was hokey. Hokey. This pitched, pitched via auto tune. Crazy. This, uh, this, because it's not a soundtrack. It is literally <sighs> just. Um, I'm glad they, you brought it up because I didn't take note of it didn't, the soundtrack um, that was going on. And I was like, how all over the place is this going to get? John, it like, felt very um, 
for all of you out there, this is no shade. I love all of you. This felt very BBC <laughs> original. This felt like a BBC. It was, it was masterpiece theater. Uh, yes, it was. It was. Um, <clears throat> but I mean, there are BBC originals was, that are great and amazing. But there's also ones that are not. There are, this might be. <laughs> <laughs> there are some that lack. Um, <laughs> Je ne sais quoi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is that thing? That thing it's, that makes yeah, it's it missing, good. It's missing a little. Like yeah, it's missing a lot of um. Uh, what? It's like you need a little yeah. bit of you need a little bit of citrus to like to, you know. You need kind some of, pep and uh, thing and what? What's the what's that term I'm trying to say? Um, compelling story narrative. Um, and <laughs> logic. So what we're talking about here is the movie like, She Will. And She Will does feature a lot of John Will in lieu she, of Will she will talk she, about this movie? She will. <laughs> and we're talking about it right now. And so I what, am dying. What, I can, what can I, I just say not. she will she will definitely um uh, she will she, start at the beginning, which is where we're <laughs> going to start. So I'm going to start this. And John, I want you to interject, but I'm going to roll right through this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Guys, are you ready for some really wild energy? I have never been more ready the, for wild energy than I am right now, Travis. I'm going to I'm gonna bounce through this super fast. Because Just like that's those checks. All, that's all it's deserved. I'm bouncing them checks, girl. <laughs> I'm bouncing those checks. So many. The whole oh, I book, can't wait to bounce those The whole those book, checks. gone. Speaking of books, Britney Spears' book is out today if I you're listening about to that. this. Yes. So congratulations to all of you who pre-ordered. I'm jealous of you. Okay. Getting into She Will. <laughs> she will read that book as soon as she gets her hands on it. So <laughs> that's me. Hard copy, first edition signed. Right. So, okay. It comes with a prop knife. All right. So here's how we start. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with nameless character who has fierce cheekbones. So fiercest cheekbones, duckest of lips. She has fierce. I was just going to bring up them lips. Mm -hmm. She has fierce cheek, fierce cheekbones. We're just going to call her. Um, what should we call her? Uh, let's call her <laughs> duck bones. Duck no, bones. Let's call her. Let's call she has her... a name and I can't remember it. Yeah. Um, she's actually a very uh, seasoned actress. And um, her name is something uh, else that I can't really do. Um, find it at this moment. That's fine. We're going to call her um, Alice gonna... Cridge. So Alice Cridge, who what's her character name? Veronica. Veronica. And... That's what it was. Veronica really is kind of like it's a bitchy name, but I like Veronica because you know what you're going to get into. Yeah. So like, oh, this. <laughs> So Veronica goes under the knife. And the reason why Veronica yeah. goes under the knife is because she had to have a mastectomy. Right. For those of you out there who don't know what that is, um, look we'll it up. Because I'm not going to explain it to you. So she's like, you know what? I really need to go on a getaway. And you know who I'm going to take with me? Somebody who I treat like absolute garbage. Appaloot. I like appaloot better. Appaloot garbage. So I'm going to treat her like appaloot garbage. Yeah. And she's a nurse. And it's even though this caregiver. nurse. Her caregiver. Her caregiver is giving not just care but giving she is, so i love her she has model looks she's androgynous her blonde bleached hair is gorgita she as doesn't we would really call it here. give me caregiver you know what i mean she doesn't give me caregiver either she's like, she's like caregiver she's like adjacent. Run, runway caregiver like runway she is runway caregiver fashion caregiver oh right so but yeah. not like zara um, no. she's like giving, she's giving, um, like Supreme. She, no, like no, ready to wear she, Supreme mm -mm. caregiver. She's a Mew Mew campaign. No, mm -hmm. she's diesel. She, oh, oh maybe nope. she might be at like streetwear Loewe. Nope. No? She's heaven by Mark Jacobs. Oh, she is heaven by Mark. She's Jacobs. giving. Okay. Yeah. So heaven by Mark Jacobs is the caregiver to Veronica. So heaven by Mark Jacobs and Veronica are like, yeah. we're going to go to a Scottish. Is it Scottish? Where are we? It's Where some are kind we? of a retreat, but it's supposed so, to be all ladies. It's supposed to be no, it's supposed to be nobody. So they think they're going on a retreat with nobody, but it turns out that um there's a lot of people there because there's that a retreat, lot of community theater actors performing 
at this retreat. They're performing hard. Yeah. And so Veronica, theater. And Veronica is a she is a aging actress, actoire. Yeah. And so she gets there and she's like, keep these people away from me. And so Heaven by Mark Jacobs is like, she has a headache. Please stop talking to her. And yeah. everyone's like, okay, you're, you're rude. And so while Veronica <laughs> is sitting there, some lesbian rolls in. She is a s- lesbian vibes for real. She gives full her entrance and the, her delivery of the lines is like full murder, mystery, dinner, theater performance to the max. With a Home Depot appliance manager haircut. <laughs> yeah. So she rolls in and she's like, yeah. you're coming with me. Wear your rain boots, bitch, because it gets muddy. Out oh, here. by the way, there's like stuff in the water. There is stuff in the water and we don't care. It's peat moss and you're going to drink it. And everyone's like, huh? and they and really do that. I'm like, Ugh. And so, uh, I mean, if we were to fast forward a little bit faster, we're going to. Would you fast? think I'm not? It's not a request, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> what I'm saying is, we're moving halfway. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 not at all, not at all, not at all. But I'm just saying, like, if we were to like fast forward a little bit more, why, why would Veronica be the only one that this mystery, something, whatever magic it is? Why would it only creep up inside of her? There's a lot of questions I have that include a jawbone. Yeah. (laughs) So I'm not sure. Um, But basically, do you remember that movie where they went to that cabin? It wasn't Cabin in the Woods. It was that other one where they drank the water and their skin started like sloughing um, off. Cabin fever. Is it sloughing? Is that the word? Sloughing. Sloughing. Their skin was sloughing off? Yeah. Yeah. Slough. Skin slough is... um, a delicacy in some countries is and it? i would say yeah it's like disgusting cabin fever skin uh skin slough and Ew. it's delicious and divine no if i'm just want, saying it's disgusting actually. listen for any of you out there who like skin slough i will vacuum my carpet and you send you a bag of whatever it is you can have it <laughs> i don't know so i don't I put it over your potatoes um, so we have, so we have Veronica and heaven. We're yeah. not going to do heaven by Mark Jacobs. You all know, if you don't know what heaven is, look it up. It's great. It's so amazing. Also work. If you have the money, get the Kiki boots, not just for Halloween, but for every day. Cause you will serve in them anyway. <laughs> At the Kiki Boots by Heaven. So Heaven and Veronica go trekking through this dark, gloomy forest all the way to a cabin that has no electricity, I think. Um, and so little le- little lesbian Lacey is like, good luck. She really does say good luck, basically. Yeah. And it's like, I'm leaving. So Veronica and Heaven are at the house and something weird happens. Um, there's just like spookiness all around. Yeah. And Gen- general spooky, but Veronica it's also not really dreams. Yeah, Veronica starts, they? she starts having these mis- mystery dreams of like people. Oh, people and like, but mostly witches because the lore around this place is witches were burned, 3,000 of them. Mm. And around us, all over us, yeah. is the spirits of witches, of, of mm. witch, of, of, of witches witchcraft and magic witchcraft and, and wizardry this is basically hogwarts this is hogwarts if but but on but witchery is only it only it only it's contagious a little bit it is you know? a bit contagious and for some yeah. reason you just start it it finds you it, it finds you if you're the right it candidate. Knows. it knows so veronica starts experiencing weird things and um, while all of this has happened, her and Heaven, they kind of have a rocky relationship in the beginning. Yeah. She's like, she's like, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, I like, I like, I don't, I don't really want you around, but also like, take care of me. But also, you know I mean? I, uh, make me my tea and coffee, yeah, and then make, but the, go away, but don't go like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's basically yeah. that energy. How long are they supposed to be on this getaway for? Like, I don't know. Four and a half days. Who knows? So anyway, Heaven and Veronica start doing things during the day with all this they group do. of people that weren't supposed to be there. Making the most of it, really. They are. They walk yeah. down to an a little art thing. What are they doing? They're like Bob Rossing art. by the lake. They're they're Bob Rossing by the lake. 
So uh, for all of you out there, that was on the itinerary. Uh, It literally said Bob Rossing by the lake. Yes. After tea, we're going to Bob Ross by the lake. So they go to Bob Ross by the lake. And you know how she, you know how she Bob Rosses? She Bob Rosses so hard. John, she Bob (laughs) Rosses. All over that canvas. John, she is filling nature. It's almost like the paint is coming from her. Yeah. And not at her. Do you know what I mean? I totally get it. It's yeah. like whatever she was feeling, the she's not, woods she's, were not, g- she's not painting. She had already painted. <laughs> John, she had. In yeah. her head, she knew exactly what it looked like, but only because the woods, they gave her everything she yeah, needed. But her performance was giving a little bit like, if you're watching this on YouTube, congratulations. But her performance was giving very much tar. Like, Tar. It was giving tar. It was giving Lydia black tar, tar. heroin. <laughs> and like, so she, but she was just like, she was, it was giving her performance of the, of the, the, the automatic writing painting was very much like, ooh, 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 ooh. Very, yeah. And it was very like, it was conductor. Um, it was conductor at an orchestra, but that orchestra is at, where would you say it's like a grade school it's like it's a like, sixth grade it's it's, it's somebody a sixth who's trying grade art class yes it's no, no 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 well she was the conductor though so she's conducting sixth she's graders conducting who it. just she's creating got, yes they mm-hmm. all just they they have um recorders this is a recorder class recorders one has an out of tune pan flute which and, nobody knows where that came from because that right. was not commissioned by the school. Where did this come from? <laughs> yes. And they are all out of key uh, doing uh, Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. And then they create a painting. They Bob Ross and, themselves into the ground. So um, Bob Rossica she is, <laughs> is, is her name now. Yeah. And she's like, I can't believe I created this masterpiece and neither can anybody else they're like wow you're like really good at painting this whole canvas black yeah with mud so (laughs) she scribbles she scribbles like a language into it like gaelic i think is what it is yeah (laughs) gaelic and she's very Um, casual about it all too she's like "Hmm, didn't know i had it in me yeah, and some guy starts criticizing her in this room, and all of a sudden her witchy powers come together and she lights this man's hand on fire. And then it's confirmed in her mind. She's like, she's not even surprised, really. She's just like, I can do things with my mind now. I'm a witch now. All, all of this takes place through a couple nights of sleepwalking and dreams, mm-hmm. and then she has magical powers. Walking through the forest and squishing black goo between her toes. Oh, do you ever remember stepping in mud? I, I actually loved stepping in mud and having yeah. it squished through. Yeah, it was like a little fun sensation. As I a child, yeah. now, probably wouldn't be my favorite. But not as an 85-year-old person who's just had a double mastectomy. Right. I don't think so. I don't think so either. But you know what? She doesn't care what we think because she's going to do it anyway, girl. Right. She's a so, witch now. She's witching and bob rousing all over the place. So she's like, I'm a witch bitch so so, she yes so through all of this she will so she will let heaven have a night off from taking care of her even because she's so insufferable she's like you know what go get messed up go get tanked at the pub she's starting to come through because heaven meets a man at the cabin that they're staying at. And he's like, meet me at the pub. And Heaven's like, I don't know. I'm working. <laughs> but Veronica lets Heaven go. So Heaven yeah. goes to the pub and meets this man where they're having a quote unquote disco night. And by disco, um, disco, I would say is a little bit of a stretch. An no, exaggeration, a fabrication, but it's technically a disco. It's technically a disco, yes, because it is a dance, and that is a term that is not used here anymore, but I do believe it's used in other places. Huh. So disco night is basically dance night, and there are two people on the dance floor, minus Heaven and her friend, who are about to do mushrooms. Mm-hmm. And if you've ever done mushrooms, mm-hmm. this is not a place, not for me, not in my mind. Some Public people can spaces? handle it. I don't think so. Not on mushrooms, girl. Go away from people as far as you can. You need to set yourself up for success, I would say. 
And uh, that's just coming from somebody who may or may not have done them once. I'm not saying I have, but I'm also not. I've never done them. I've never, ever, ever done a mushroom. I'm never going to say I have or haven't. And I'm not going to start while. Now. Well, now. She won't. (laughs) She won't, girl. She won't. I, if that's you, do you. But so heaven, so heaven and homie start doing drugs in this. And all the while, Veronica is back at the house having she's like levitating at this point she's floating out of her bed and she is in this crazy witch world and i don't know what's happening but she's sensing a sense of danger and that danger is dancing with heaven Mm. now heaven's like oh my gosh i'm sick i have to leave this pub and she starts throwing up outside and So her homeboy is like, let me walk you home. And she's like, no, I'm good. And he's like, no, please. So they start walking together through the woods. And then homie tries to rape heaven. So trigger warning. And this is where I, this is where I bumped a lot on this, in this, in this movie, because it was um, extraordinarily, unnecessary to go this hard for this particular type of film and so it told me that the filmmakers themselves thought very highly of the project that they were doing and sure granted you can do whatever you want and you can take as many things seriously as as you can but at this point in the movie it's been like an hour in yeah it's basically it's basically almost over and i'll tell you the theme here is revenge right and so man revenge man venge sure definitely that's a theme that's that's what it is and there's a there's a me too element Mm -hmm. and um the thing is the theme is lost a lot of the time yeah the theme is unclear a lot of the time until you finally cross that bridge and you're like, oh, this is what the movie's about and this is what we're doing. Which is why a lot of this whole movie was unnecessary because yeah. we get to, which you guys can spoiler alert if you ever want to watch it. Anyway, mm-hmm. we get to the end of this and it turns out that Veronica, well, the forest is like helping her exist. Uh, enact revenge on Ugh. a person who took advantage of her when she was a child. And it yes. all culminates after. Um, so Veronica was scooting back to heaven and Veronica, heaven and homeboy in the forest. He like tries to rape her, but Veronica is out there in the forest doing witch stuff. And yeah. she, what is that? The, basically the bog of eternal stench yeah swallows him up swallows him up it's that and, it's that goo from never ending story that eats the horse it yeah. takes him to yeah so he gets sucked into the forest floor never to be heard from again and uh yeah so somehow we the story takes a turn to veronica during her like astral projection thing or whatever she's like on a talk show set and yeah. watching her her abuser uh talk about her and how awful she was or something like that and like she's like she makes him throw up on camera she's like he 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 and then um at the end of the day she gains full control of her powers yeah and visits him and um as the younger version of herself as a younger version of herself and a lot of like uh bug bird things um swoop around him and cause him to fall off the stairs bug birds moth i think you mean moth were they moths bug birds (laughs) what are those bug birds moths so he so he falls and plummets to his death and then basically yeah there's so much that there's so much. And then she is fine and healthy all of a sudden. She's a witch now. She's a witch. And she and Heaven, they get into a car and they and they Leave. just drive away. They drive away. There's so much more that happens that we left out. Like the context there. But a lot of it doesn't need to happen. The thing like is, the said. context is irrelevant because like. It's almost like they're like, wait, we need to make this movie about something after hour one. So let's just force this square into a circle. Okay. 
uh, I'm going to be a bit long winded on mine, but I have some things that I want to say, which. Okay. Yeah, please do. Okay. Please so do. she will, <laughs> she will girl. She will. That's our new thing from now on. Like she will give you a review and I'm mm -hmm. going to do that. So out of 10, <laughs> um, so out of 10, and I will say this out of 10 opening scenes mm -hmm. where the cinematography actually led me to believe that this movie was going to be better than it is. Mm -hmm. The panning, the lighting, all of that out of 10 of those, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and give this movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, What's two? it going to be? Oh, fair. Very I'm going to go fair. ahead and give this movie a two. Very fair. Um, not very because generous, of the, too, I'd say. Not because of the acting. I thought the acting, they did what they could with sure. what they had. This is, uh, this is no fault of, of actors and performers who showed up and did a sufficient job. I truly think the, the score... The score of this movie yeah. ruined everything about this movie. Mm -hmm. Not just that, but there were so many. It felt like it felt like as the filmmakers were going, they mm -hmm. were trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together instead of having they were forcing pieces into a puzzle that didn't belong. Yeah. Um, it was so weird. Like there were so many Nothing elements fits. of this that made it no sense. Um, no. I truly yeah. think the ending was absolutely bullshit. Um, the ending was literally so yeah. lame. Not him falling to his death, but, but also the, the I last thought, segments yeah. mm -hmm. of heaven and her in the car just let her be taken by the forest, which is what she wanted. She didn't want to leave there. Um, we left so much out. So if you guys don't know what we're talking about and you feel like going to watch this Ugh. movie, that's yeah. on you. That's that's your time. I really do you think do, you can do with your time what what you will. This movie felt like it was actually made for a cinema, but yeah. then at points it started turning into a mm. made for television movie. And I'm talking, we're talking, we're talking ABC Family. John, it got really weird in parts that felt like it was stitched together and i was like the fuck is this yeah so, I, was like, some, I was like something went horrifically wrong in so the that's my review process. and i want you to give me yours and out of 10 okay. what um okay so out of 10 out of 10 um renowned dinner theater performers um no, 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 no. Out of one token. Um, out of, no, 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 no. <laughs> out of 10. Out of 10. Out of, okay, so out of, okay, out of 10 really cringy um, perf uh, group therapy session performers. Sure. Uh, yeah, just, I, I, mean, I don't know. I'm going to give, I'm going to give it a two. <laughs> okay. I'm just I love how you're two. fighting so hard with it. <laughs> And so it's just like the it's I was watching it last night and I was like, this movie put me in a bad mood because I don't like anything that's happening. It's not even bad in a fun way. <laughs> so that was the first one I watched. This is why when I text you, I was like, I just watched one. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. Uh, I knew it. I knew it, too, because I had already watched Piggy. And I'm like, OK, that wouldn't have been a Piggy response. But like, I mean, it was just something went terribly wrong. And during the filmmaking process, I don't know what happened somewhere along the way. I don't know what happened to this. And it, it started to make me mad, like how how not good it was it, i was starting to get upset about it i'm like when is this going to be over like when can i just like stop watching this movie <laughs> and like, <laughs> john were you so mad at me when i was like we're gonna pick a movie on shutter no 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 but like this was my first movie on shutter experience why didn't we watch the glory hole movie it's on I shutter no i mean who knows it's probably just as terrible but like, I don't know. It's like this movie was really, really bad. Like not even good, bad. It's not just even good, bad. bad, bad. And I'm like the dialogue, some of the dialogue, the exchanges between these two women were like, whoa, this is not good. Like, what are these people doing? No, did somebody doesn't. like, did, was it first draft? We got 
we got so much money so let's just go out and film a movie and not even rewrite it like God, this <sighs> felt like first second third all the way to final draft all mix and cut together because what happened with those people in the first building when you meet them and they're doing the oh, oh, over around that glowing pyramid you know what, you what, know what is that even exactly but you know what they're doing the filmmakers they are wasting our time like it's annoying they like you pick a story pick a story is this a story about a woman having just survived cancer in her in the twilight of her life trying to heal and then becomes a witch somehow like why does it have to throw hold back up. hold up yeah Before, uh, a i'm gonna let you finish i just okay. kanye'd you because i cannot forget <laughs> this it's okay beyonce will a, give it back to me beyonce will give it back to you me Beyonce will give it back to you in a second <laughs> done <laughs> When she, when they first get yeah. to that house and the woman says, Veronica says to heaven, this feels like the beginning of a horror movie where a young ingenue is sacrificed to a, to an entity that will not end. I was like, hell yes, this is how I want it to start. Because and guess what? Spoiler alert. That does not happen. It no, doesn't, it doesn't happen. It doesn't even come close. I thought to that they were going to tell us what was going to happen. And I was like, yeah. build that story, bitch, because that sounds good. You just told me everything. Also, the, live. right. Then like this, like what corny, happened to this that corny story group line? of people are are just here in the background every once in a while. It's almost like they were here for on, on set for three days to get their stuff, to get their shots in and go. And then you never see them ever, ever again. They don't pay off but they are set up to mm -hmm. be a part of the story. John, do you know what movie worked with three people and it worked really fucking well? What? Hard Candy. Hard Candy does we it. We don't a lot need of people. extra people. You don't need extra people. In a story people. that doesn't need it. Tell uh, she never interacts with them in any real capacity. The only time she does is when she goes to the art thing, lights that dude's hand on fire, and then and they, none of that is necessary. John, they explain and, it away as like yeah. there were some things in the truck. I've never seen anything combust like that. Yeah. Explain it just, away that way. Lame. It's the worst thing ever. This movie could have been just her and heaven in a cabin. And they could have made this so good. And you know what I really didn't like and appreciate? That Almost the, all of the this. witchcraft and wiz and wizardry and any kind of creature or thing, it was all in like visual flashbacks or dream sequences. And like, why couldn't have there been like a witch of the wood? Oh, I duh, they could have. It's but like, the thing is, they but the didn't. thing, is, and what I don't like, and like, why, why is she like? Okay, I understand. Yes, me too, and all that other stuff. But like, it did not fit within the confines of this movie. It felt extraordinarily forced to like try to make it poignant. And out of all the various themes that this movie could be about, like it was very much like drag and drop theme here. You know what yeah. I mean? It didn't tie in. It wasn't rooted in anything. And it just seemed totally out of left field and random whenever the movie became about that. John, this movie was MS Paint of Witchcraft. It was the MS Paint of Witchcraft and Wizards. Do you want to know why I chose this? Because a witch movie, I will almost always give mm. you a, a little extra because you're a witch movie. I fucking love witches. Yeah. But, witches are my thing. I burn yeah. through the Wizard of Oz. Talk about the Wicked Witch of the West. Mm -hmm. I burned through two VHS tapes as a young gay child. Yeah, we love witches because they are um, gay Amazing. icons. <laughs> this movie, there wasn't a single icon in it. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry about it. So. But guess what? Over our good friends over at Rotten Tomatoes. I don't even. Uh, there. Do you know what? Do you want to hear it? I am. Do you want to hear it? I do. Do you want to hear it? I'm scared for what you're about to say. Yeah. 85% tomatometer. Certified lies. fresh. Absolute lies. Trash. Lies. Garbage. Fabrication. I am convinced that it was paid for. Garbage. That's where the budget went. 
they went to they paid for that certified fresh stamp. John, this movie is not 85%. This movie is not yeah. good. The audience that was more with it at 47%. It should have been lower. Yeah. And you want I guess cr- based off averages, a 40s wow. fine, but like this movie oh. sucks. Yeah. This movie actually sucks. I'm it, so sorry. It sucked so bad. <laughs> and like while we respect it wasn't even fun. It wasn't fun. It was it was just it was meandering and it was it dragged boring on. and it was it lacked any sort of tension and direction. Like you you didn't know where it was gonna go. Talk about John, my shoelaces have more tension. This movie <laughs> was the it, least also scary thing I have ever watched. Not scary. I did not shudder once. I didn't shudder. I did I wasn't startled. There was not one thing. Yeah. Also, what about that jawbone that she basically wanted to lick? Where did that come from? Mm-hmm. I don't get this movie. It doesn't yeah. make sense to me. None of this makes sense. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, no, but the critics consensus, if you want to get um, oh, really upset. Sure. I'm about to, because I, <laughs> I, I, my eyes almost rolled out of my ass. I saw that. It was epic. It was a very, <laughs> it was like a body situation. <laughs> but okay. So the critics consensus <clears throat> is more unsettling than truly scary. She will cast a thoughtful hypnotic spell made even stronger by its restrained approach and some strong performances that is baloney baloney i'm not gonna fault the actors at all i won't mm-hmm. they actually sure the actors they did really well with what they had and i well, will never maybe I'm, not the maybe not the dinner theater actors of the group but no, they the were two leads yeah cool yeah, no, 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 no. The, Sorry, the extras, this movie happened to you, actors. <laughs> yeah, it's ugh. yeah. Okay, but know. audience, do we have an audience review? We we don't. No, we we do uh, not. But if we do, scroll there's not down, one negative Rotten Tomatoes review about this. I mean, not one critic was like this movie is. There is one splat among a lot of. I need you to read the splat because I need I I have to have splat. some validation here. Okay, the one splat is a two point five out of five, oh, which is—I mean, I mean I guess that's like, it's like a mid. fifty. Yeah, so a reverie that avoids a classic narrative yet isn't daring enough to be abstract, and so it lives between genres: drama, terror, comedy, and supernatural action, lacking the identity it needs to become defining. I mean, that's kind. That's kind because that person, it sounds exactly like they hate it. (laughs) So, and also, there have been no audience reviews for She Will. I don't think a lot of people have seen this movie. Nobody saw it. Should we be the first people to review it? (laughs) I mean, I'm going to go in there and put Mean Girls Interrupted and leave a review. And people who find this a hundred years down the road. Oh, wait, no, it is here. It is here. Okay, sorry, I found it. I found it. Whenever you go to all audience reviews, it's like half a star. This movie <laughs> sucks. So boring. If you like watching a product of feminist masturbation with not even a hint of creativity, then watch this. Otherwise, ignore the less than intelligent nipples who gave this 85%. Wow. Uh, sh- honestly, that was written by a woman, by the way. <laughs> so. Honestly? yeah work work that was harsh uh, no um, it wouldn't have mattered who wrote that because mm-hmm. yeah and stacy l gave it five out of five stars stacy girl no i don't even want to hear what stacy has to say so, uh-huh. do we need an stacy well, uh, guess what stacy says can you guess stacy. what stacy can you just guess what stacy says guess what stacy says stacy l said <laughs> I've never watched a scarier movie. I can't believe all of this. Heaven was amazing. I can't wait. And that's what she said, right? That's what she said, right? She says, uh, this might be one of the best movies I have ever seen in my entire life. 10 out of 10. Absolutely not. And she can only give five stars. And Wendy L. Schmidt also gave it five out of five stars. 
And I have to press show more on her review because it's a paragraph. No, John, these sound made up. This is like the filmmakers coming into Rotten that's made, Tomatoes. That's made up. Yeah. Okay. Those are can, lies. Can we just, can we just, can we just, she's Wendy L. Schmidt P. I don't know what the P stands for. Oh, God. Uh, Wendy L. Schmidt. Don't use her full name on the internet. All right. Anyway, so she says, well, I don't know how to explain this film, except that it has Alice Creed in a performance that is equally strong and vulnerable. She is a she is the bitchy fading movie star and the traumatized young woman, the Scottish countryside. She basically just synopsizes it and then says, but more than that, it is the story of how women must endure and survive in a world filled with men who abuse them. And how the power of women coming together can find a way to expose the ones who can cause so much harm. Yes, I agree. Right. Yes, we, uh, amazing. We understand. But the execution of this theme that's, was really terrible. That's not the story it's telling. It, it changes. It's, it's that. not even clear and concise. Yeah, it's it, this that part. It, it, it's almost like they are leaning on that theme and story to elevate it. I'm and, sorry, Wendy, you are absolutely batshit because here's the thing. Yeah. And we left this out. Heaven had to go back and say Veronica. If women mm -hmm. were here to bring each other up, why would she need to go save Veronica from whatever this mysterious and magical presence is that's taking her over? No, yeah, that is not the theme. I get what you're trying to say. Right. It's, no, it's yes. You can't just sorry. You can't just no. do it. You can't just do a hyper generalized or no. done before me too theme and something and and just to win an audience over. It's, yeah. And then also be like, it's women empowering. OK, like, like the movie is about something. See, like, no, you can't do that because you didn't execute it well. And you didn't establish that right up top of that's what the movie was going to be about. It's not about anything. Yeah, this movie's not about anything. It, it tries to be something and it's nothing. I can tell you what it is. It's definitely pretentious. Oh, uh, very much. So, yeah. So LC says, gives it one star. This is the last one because I like it. <laughs> Sweet Jeebus, get on <laughs> with it. This movie dragged. The MC acting was great, but the story didn't go anywhere. An hour in, an hour in and I switched it off. There you go. John, you right on the money i'm reading these like high reviews and i'm like whoa these people are crazy no it's not good that was probably one of our most brutal brutal reviews of a movie that because it was trying to be something it isn't and it makes yeah. no sense like and we've and we watched men and <laughs> i also gave men a two <laughs> Yeah, men, but men had its redeeming qualities for it had, sure. It did, but men was also one of those movies where I was like, yeah, it's there's too many, there's too many conflicting things happening. It's pick, it's the filmmaker masturbating essentially. Pick, pick something because I can't like as an audience, I don't. When I watch a movie, mm -hmm. I am not an audience member that wants to think about it i'm watching a movie to Experience escape it. yeah give me a good story also you can do you can do i thinkers. like i like high, smart shit you can do cerebral movies and i bring the tension bring the tension i'm not saying don't make cerebral movies i'm saying there's a time and place but if you yeah. think you're a cerebral movie with underlying themes Ugh. that can't tie in sorry yeah, I think also I struggle with abstract movies being abstract, but you can do abstract and still have a cohesive storyline. It can be. Yes. So like you, you, guys... can't, you can't just like use the fact that it's abstract to, as like a cop out for all the shortcomings in the story. Yeah, like you can't do it. We didn't get into the weeds of this, <sighs> you guys. We got into the ferns of this. Yeah. This was some forest she fern. Won't. She won't be watching this again. She won't. So and with that, everybody, like, remember. comment, rate, review. Follow us on Apple Podcasts or wherever you uh, get your podcasts. That's Give right. us a, leave us a five-star rating and write us a little review. Tell us what you think about the podcast. 
And um, yeah, if you want to drop us a line, uh, go over to our social media, which is Instagram. Uh, it is, we are at, our handle is at Mean Girls Interrupted. And uh, yeah, slide into our DMs a little bit. And then pop on over to our email, which is Mean Girls Interrupted at gmail.com. That's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and just let us know what you'd like us to watch next. And I hope you enjoyed our um, uh, this week's double feature for our um, annual October Fright Fest. And I can't wait for you guys to see what we, have, what we have in store for you next week in our last and final October double feature, which releases on October Day, which is Halloween Day. Yeah. And it's the last day of October. And it's going to be the very last day before November. And it's probably and, going to be something by, if you haven't watched yeah. this, John David Cronenberg's um, The Dead Zone. Ooh, love Have you set. watched that? I haven't seen The Dead Zone, but I did watch the um, uh, television series. Oh, let's try and watch. Well, we'll think about it. Surprise. We don't know, bitch. Surprise next week. <laughs> yeah. So with that, Travis, I'm going to have to see you at the movies. Well, the credits, you prosthetic tit. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.